It's hot out there and the sun is shining bright, but don't let that sun slow you down. Introducing Shady Rays, your ultimate companion for every sunny adventure. With Shady Rays sunglasses, you'll enjoy unbeatable protection from harmful UV rays so you can focus on having fun under the sun. These premium sunglasses come with polarized lenses, cutting through glare and ensuring crystal clear vision wherever you go. Whether you're hitting the beach, hiking in the mountains, or simply strolling through the city, Shady Rays will keep you looking stylish while keeping your eyes protected. Every pair of Shady Rays sunglasses feature their signature lost and broken protection. So if you lose or break your pair for any reason, they'll replace them. And the best part, with our special code, enjoy $20 off your first purchase. So what are you waiting for? Head to shady.themanspacepodcast.com. That's shady.themanspacepodcast.com and pick out your perfect pair of shades. Sunglasses aren't meant to be loved. They're meant to be lived in. And with Shady Rays, your sunny days just got brighter. Once again to another edition of the Man Space Podcast. Now this is the voice of Russ, and with me as always, he is the Nostradamus of this show, the <laughs> one and only Big Les. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? What up? What's up, man? Hey, man, it's gonna rain tomorrow. How, how about this one from a few years ago? <laughs> the Lions is going to the playoffs this year and going to get past the first round. <laughs> Boy, we we gonna put it we gonna put it out there because they looking good. They looking good. I mean, we dropped one to Green Bay that we shouldn't have dropped. This shouldn't last have month. dropped. Definitely, we should have not that. have dropped that. But as I was telling one of my partners, I said, "Listen, that's a good thing because now they got to pull their heads out of their behinds. Right? You know, get that drop right now. Mm-hmm. Get back hungry. Next week, go demolish whoever we need to demolish." And mm-hmm. keep that going forward into the playoffs, baby. There you go. We only a few games. We only a few games away from the playoffs. How crazy is that? How about we fired our coach today? I saw that. My wife it, told me while having lunch, she was like, "Who is Frank?" I was like, "Frank, who?" Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ask me no questions like right. that. Right. <laughs> I right. said. I said, what is this, what is this, you know, pertaining to? She said, can I get a multiple was, choice? Right, right. <laughs> Just like, oh, my friend said they fired Frank today from the Panthers. I was like, oh, that's the coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me just who Frank is, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah. 11, he only lasted 11 games, man. 11 games. But, bro, when you go one and 10, dude, and you, and you draft high with a quarterback. Dude, we traded our first round pick last year and this year to mm-hmm. get that, that to get number that. one pick. Yeah. Yes. And then you turn around and have the the worst record in the league where you would have had the number one pick this year and wouldn't have had to give up nothing. Right. But listen, listen, it's a strategy. Unfortunately, it failed. They it, put it a lot failed. of they put a lot on that young boy's shoulders, man. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, blame still, I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. I don't believe that there should be any kid coming out of college, first round, first draft pick, I don't MVP, that should go right into starting for an NFL team. Yeah. I think he needs to sit behind a veteran for two years. My whole problem is that the owner is impatient. Well, yeah. He just took a lot of money. The offensive line is absolute trash, beyond Trash. 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 I mean, they couldn't they couldn't block you from trying to go get a McRib sandwich, man. They no. can't block nothing. Hey, hey, but your defense, your defensive line. Defensive line is straight. Your defensive line is straight. Yeah. You got some holes in your secondary. Mm-hmm. However, 
We your got run we defense, got several guys. Yeah. Your run defense is great. Because mm-hmm. they well, they didn't shut him down, but they held uh Henry down yeah. pretty good. Yeah, you know what I mean? He got a couple touchdowns, but mm-hmm. yeah, short yardage. Short yardage. Short, short yardage yeah. stuff, but yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. It's yeah. it's oof, oof. it's yeah. a sad day to be a Panthers fan, bro. Man, listen, bro. Well, you could you could look at it both ways. It's a sad day because you fired the coach. Or it's a good day that we got rid of the coach. Now we can get somebody in that can do it. You know, but the only one thing there, you can't change. There's only one guy I want. Who? Oh, Jim Harbaugh. Uh, he ain't leaving Michigan, bro. He leaving Michigan. He bet not. He leaving he Michigan. He bet not. He bet not. And we he beat Ohio Michigan. State three years straight. Wait, I thought you was a Mich- Michigan State fan. I am a Michigan State fan. But you just a said Michigan we. Michigan fan. Hold up. And I am a Michigan <laughs> fan also. Uh, oh, listen. blasphemy. Blasphemy. Am, listen. Listen. If it's any, I root for Michigan State if mm-hmm. they playing against Michigan. Mm-hmm. But I root for Michigan and Michigan State against anybody else. Simple and plain. I was born that way, baby. I was born in the dirty mitten. So you say you buy. In a dirty glove. I ain't say I buy nothing. (laughs) (laughs) By by, by team team you all. That's right. I well I'm in that Michigan, case, I'm, I'm, I'm a fly. Michigan fan, but I identify as a Michigan State fan. <laughs> I don't have those pronouns. <laughs> I don't have those pronouns. I don't have those pronouns. <laughs> Any anything that come out of the dirty glove, mm-hmm. I'm a root. I'm a fan. I'm a root for Mm-mm. Pistons. I'm a root for Mm-mm. The, the mm-hmm. Red Wings, I'm a root for. The Detroit Mm-mm. Tigers, the Lions. Mm-mm. I'm a root for Mm-mm. everybody. Michigan State, Central Mm-mm. Michigan, University of Michigan. So when it comes to bowl season, uh-huh. I root for all of the teams in the SEC for the bowl games only, to include Auburn and Tennessee. But see, you hate Auburn. But when it comes you down hate Auburn. to the regular see, season, that's blasphemy. I, I'd that, rather that, see Auburn that, go 0 and that, 11. That is hypocritical. It is not. It is, <laughs> it is, it is, it is conference it is blasphemy. Because, uh, no, 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 no. Because here's the thing it is a shared revenue system with the Bulls. So that way, if, if Auburn goes out there and plays in whatever non directional you know, fruit bowl that they're gonna <laughs> that they get to the grape bowl. Right. Yeah, go ahead. That money that they win helps Alabama. Mm. So that money, you know, if they get the winner's share, that money mm. gets split amongst all the teams in the conference. Mm. Yes. So I will I'll, root for the all the teams in the SEC. Only in the only them. in the ball game situation. In, in the bowl game. Yes. Situation. Yes. The regular season, I am not rooting for them at all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, ladies and gentlemen, I chose one and I stuck with one mm-hmm. big brother, big sister. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I had to, st- I, when it's Michigan and Michigan State, I choose Michigan State all day. You know, mm-hmm. ain't got nothing to do with the Big Ten or nothing. Mm-hmm. Ain't got nothing to do with bowl selection. You know what I mean? Our conference, I hate Ohio State. I don't care if they was in the bowl game mm-hmm. or not. I ain't going for it. I have ulterior I, motives. Yeah, I all can about tell. Help, it's all about helping the A. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it all the divisions or no? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, all the uh-huh. all the conferences have revenue sharing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, you know, still I ain't rooting for Ohio State. I don't care what, what you say. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if they play, you know, Johnson C. Smith. I I ain't room for him. Mm. I want Johnson C. Smith to walk the dog on. That's some real hater. That's some real <laughs> haterism. <laughs> Hate arism. I, I had to stand on business. <laughs> Man, I went down. 
to the 99th annual Turkey Day Classic, right? Mm. Which was Alabama State versus Tuskegee, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Tuskegee whoop, whooped them, didn't they? No, boy. At Alabama State <laughs> molly whopped them. <laughs> they got the molly whop. They got molly oh, whopped. Oh, oh my 41 God. to 3. Oh, they got the molly whop. Yeah, they got yeah, straight molly. God whop, almighty. Right? Yeah. But, you know, going to, I've gone to several college football games. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. Tell us about your experience. And I, I've i gone to several HBCU games and mm -hmm. I've gone to several non HBCU games. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll just, we'll just put it like this. Right. Okay. Okay. So little Russ came to me to this game. Right. And she's she's come with me before, but she was a little girl. So she only thing she remembers about going before it was that it was cold. Right. Yeah. 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 But she doesn't remember the experience. Right. She slept through it. She, right. She grown now. She's grown. So this mm -hmm. is her first time with a real HBCU experience. She uh -oh. did not go to an HBCU. She this time she's uh -oh. actually out there. And so we went through we went through the yard. We went through yeah, yeah, the tailgating yeah. section. You uh -huh. know, it it was different. It was uh -huh. very different for yeah. her. It was yeah. eye opening, you know. Uh -huh. She <laughs> <laughs> She saw them cues and them alphas out there pounding the yard. Boy, they out there getting it, right? <laughs> you can get a contact high while oh, you walking yeah. through. Everybody mm -hmm. trying to offer you a fish sandwich. I mean, oh. <laughs> it had everything, oh. right? Every yeah. tent had different music playing. So every five mm. feet, you had different music playing all the way yeah. down to the stadium, yeah. right? Yeah. You get into the stadium, right? And so we came in on one side, but our seats were on the other side. So we okay. we walked around to, to the other around. side of the stadium, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, they have food trucks in the back of it, right? That's what I'm talking about. So we're walking past, you know, Miss Russ, like, hey, you know, I, I want something to eat, right? I'm like, go ahead, get you something to eat. I'm gonna get our seats. Mm -hmm. They're like, why are you rushing to the seats? I'm like, listen, people you, are gonna jump in your HBCU. seat. HBCU. Yes. Yeah. They will jump in your seat. Mm -hmm. And I'm not in the mood to be trying to mollywop nobody. So right, right. <laughs> I'm like, let me. Just go into the seats, y'all get the food, right? Mm -hmm. So I go to the seats, and of course, somebody had their little butts in their seat. They, had, you know, they finally moved yeah. and got on out of seats, right? Wife came back with some fish sandwiches, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't never had fish taste that good in my life. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as the HBCU, I'm like little Russ looking for some a slice of pizza. You know, I'm like, oh yeah, nah, nah, you ain't nah. getting that here. That that's nah. not what you're gonna get here. Nah, you need some fried you, chicken, with some yeah. chicken wings, some chicken you wings, some fish. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, right. hey, yeah, probably right. got some oxtails and some barbecue. They shrimp. had one. You I told you, got some, some oxtails I, I, and some I, barbecue shrimp, dog. Yeah, it was yeah. it was one of the craziest experiences. Yeah. I now I've gone to non HBCU, right? Oh yeah. You can get a pretzel with some pizza. cheese, some pizza. <laughs> I you know. know. <laughs> you know, at the HBCU, you they can even get got you utensils. Some... Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! They even got utensils up in that boy. Boy, it was hilarious. Man. HBCU, was... you got to suck them fingers. Bruh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They go to hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, <laughs> hot fingers. sauce over here. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. They even had a couple of wet wipes, you know. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but man, it was fun. It was it yeah. was a lot of fun. So now, it was an eye-opening experience for her, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. Walk, Welcome. Walk in the yard and yeah. you know, seeing, the, seeing the sights. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was Welcome, young lady. It was good. Welcome. I, I had I had to think twice. I'm like, is that stuff legal here? Because <laughs> I mean, there was no no hiding. Joke is is it is it's not in Alabama, is no, it? No, it is not. It is not, and they were going in. Well, 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 it is. It is on 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 Turkey Bowl weekend. Apparently so. Dog, I we walked straight in, right? 
I, I had mm-hmm. my tickets pulled up on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah. So the lady tries to scan, and she she's like, blow it up a little bit more. Blow it up. She's ah, y'all just go ahead. Oh, well, I'm getting a scanner for next year. Right. So she just let us in, right? No, yeah. Ain't nobody, no security check whatsoever. Just walk right in, mm. you know? Because, mm. like, the night before, like, Miss Russ was like, oh, you know, I forgot to get a clear bag to take into the stadium, right? Because they do have a clear bag policy. It's right. it's on the tickets that you need to have a mm-hmm. clear bag or your bag's going to be searched, mm-hmm. right? So I looked it up, you know, that morning. I'm like, oh, you can, I went out and bought her a clear bag, right? Yeah, but it she was, could have carried it, yeah. Yeah, but it says that you can carry in a 12 by 12. No, mm-hmm. they ain't search nothing. Just walk right in. Yeah. She tried, after she tried to scan that ticket three times, y'all go ahead. Let us all walk right in. What? Yeah. All right, now. I'm going to be wiping you down out there, y'all. But chill. Bruh, you know, I was I was sitting there thinking about that when I was like, because if you got in, pat, pat, right. Even if, because if you got in, mm-hmm. you never know who else then got in. Right. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. Bad so I'm intention. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to argue with nobody over a seat. Yeah, nah. No, the, no, no. We got them bad intentions out there. You, yeah, you're right. You did the yeah, right thing. Man. Yeah, man. But it was good, man. It was good. And then I got a chance to see Bama. And then Bama <laughs> rolled up on them Tigers. Man, <laughs> did you see the end of that game? I did not. I did oh not. Oh my gosh, man. Once once the once the you know the the tail whooping commenced, I went on ahead and just said, okay, this this a wrap. I'm moving on. Bruh. They had us down to about 30 seconds left in the game. Yeah. And we're driving. Mm-hmm. And on on second and goal, one of the Auburn players goes up. You know, it's illegal to do and simulate the snap, right? So, you know, right. everybody goes to that clapping stuff, right? Yeah, like, yep, yep. One of the Auburn players kind of ran up there and, and clapped. And when he uh, did that, the center snapped center the ball. Center snapped the ball. Well, the quarterback yeah. wasn't ready. You know, mm-hmm. so the ball goes rolling backwards. He runs back there, picks it up, and he slips and falls, right? We mm-hmm. lose about 15 yards on that play, right? Mm-hmm. On the next play, he's looking, looking, looking. He crosses the line of scrimmage and then throws the ball. He throws the ball. Another penalty. So now it is fourth and goal from the 31-yard line. Good God almighty. Yeah. Last play, last ditch effort. My man stands back there in the pocket. He could have knitted a sweater how uh-huh. long he stood back there looking, right? <laughs> he just standing back there, just, you know, counting sheep. Mm-hmm. And finds my man all the way in the corner of the end zone with a defender right there on him. Yeah, he totally he jumps it. over the defender, catches the ball, yeah. corn, boom, touchdown. Mm-hmm. Man, my I'm glad my voice is back because I didn't have a voice after that one. I <laughs> screamed so much. And then it's like all the little tears from from mm. the from the Auburn co-eds, man. They yeah. was just all upset. All the little kids <laughs> were just crying. And I'm just ah! <laughs> Yes. Give me more tears. Give yeah. me more tears. So you just feed, you just fed off all of that. Feeds me. Yes. I needed more oh tears. Oh my God. Oh, it was so good. It was classic. It was classic. Yeah, Man. Well, that trust and believe me. Somebody somewhere got y'all number. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. At, at the time we are recording this one, it is <laughs> the week before the SEC championship game. So we yes. got to play Georgia this week. Yes, you so do. By the time this airs, I'm still on cloud nine right now. But by the time <laughs> this airs, you know, it may be a whole different story. But right I now. I don't know. Because, I mean, Georgia did Georgia have a few little mishaps, didn't they? They Georgia's had some scares. They've had yeah, some Georgia's scares. Yeah, Georgia's had but, some scares. But when they want to turn it on, they turn it on and they beat yeah. the brakes off people. They are they are an elite semi pro football team. Oh, yeah. They could honestly beat some pro teams right now. Yeah, the Panthers are have, probably one of them. The Panthers, yeah. And the Lions like last year, year before last. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they still might beat some five hundred teams. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, because them boys are almost pro ready. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, you know, the, the a lot last of, few years with COVID and, you know, a lot of guys getting that extra year. Uh, yeah, they, a five lot of year, guys. Five, yeah. five year college, five yeah. years eligibility. Yeah. So a it was, it's them, a guy that's got six years eligibility. How does that work? Because of injuries. So if you don't play over a certain amount of game, if you get injured, yeah. you can get another year of eligibility. Yeah, because it's like a quarterback. It's like 25. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. something. Well, yeah. Georgia's quarterback from last year was 25 years old, man. Yeah. It's yeah. like the, there's guys in the NFL that was in the same draft class as he, that he would have been in that right. have been playing for four years. Four and years. He, yeah. You know, yeah. and he's just now a rookie this year, man. So it's wow. it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. Yo, I saw, I did see a clip. I forgot who he plays for, though. Archie Manny. Arch yeah. Manny. Yeah, Arch. Yeah. Arch. Mm-hmm. Well, the team was whoever was he was playing for, it was blowing somebody out. Yeah, that's Texas. Nobody cares. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. It's like that's just Trevor's to, team. You it's know? like 50 that, to 6. That's that's our <laughs> that's our one blemish. You know, no, nobody cares about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Hey, but he you looked know, pretty efficient. We know what happens in Texas. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Trevor, I didn't say that, bro. We I didn't know it. what happens. I, I didn't in say Texas. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't go there with you. I believe that one alone. Yeah, but they said, nope, I ain't gonna go there. I almost said it again. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be good today. I'm gonna be real good today. I've been bad lately, but I'm gonna be good today. My man. Yo, what's up? So two things. Mm-hmm. So I had to explain to Mrs. Les mm-hmm. this morning mm-hmm. what an oxtail was. No. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold up, hold, hold, hold up. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I had to really explain to her that because you know how some foods are called certain things and they're not but, always but they're the not always the tails yes mm-hmm. and she's like are you serious it's really a tail i said yeah it's good right you like it right so it's like wait a minute wait a minute is it really the tail i said yeah it is an oxtail Mm-hmm. A ox. I said, you know what an ox is, right? Mm-hmm. She says, yeah. I said, it's their tail. Seriously. Yeah. Her face was priceless. <laughs> she didn't know whether to cuss, throw up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put her feet in my back and push me out the bed. Oh, <laughs> I think she just, I just think she just was like, she just, her whole, her whole aura changed. Cause you know, we were laying in the bed. We were sitting on, I was sitting on the bed. She was laying on the bed and I'm having my coffee and we're just talking, you know, and I really, oh, what brought it up was I have a, you know, my family is, is very Southern. You yes. know, mm-hmm. Louisiana, Alabama, mm-hmm. all, 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 all down in 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 yeah. in, in the south. Mm-hmm. Pig ear sandwich. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you, so you know about. It. Yes. So we mm-hmm. we were talking about it, mm-hmm. and she was like, "I wouldn't eat that because of the cartilage." I was like, "You can't tell if it's got cartilage no, or if not." If it's cooked it. right, you can't tell. I said, "If it if it's cooked the, the proper way, you will not know." I'm not eating no pig ears. I said, "Well, I do." Mm-hmm. I said. I eat hog jaw, pig ears. You know what I'm saying? I said, and pig tails. I said, I'm going to cook you some. She's like, I'm not eating that. I said, let me tell you something. Pig tail tastes just like bacon. I said, you, I'm going I'm to cheat and I'm going to boil that joker first and then I'm going to take him and throw him out on the smoke. Mm-hmm. I said, I promise you, you eat a piece of, I, I pull that meat off of that pig tail and you not know it. You're going to try to bite your fingers off. She said, no, I, I ain't eat nobody's tail. I said, well, what about an ox tail? Mm. She said, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it 
remember how different strokes. What you talking about, Willis? Willis. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, Les? I said, <laughs> you eat oxtails, you might as well eat a pigtail. Right. She said, oh, uh-uh. I just thought that was the name. No, baby. No, that's not, <laughs> that's not how that go down. <laughs> and I, and I, I was getting real managed with it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, let's watch this video. <laughs> Bro, I know she, I, I promise you, she wanted to stick her feet, kick my back through my stomach. I promise you, her whole face looked completely crazy after that. Bro, so two things. <laughs> do you do your line? Two things. So yeah. one, before I go into the to the good one. But do you, have you seen that they have started switching out the ox tails for the necks? No. Yes, they cook them the exact same way. Yeah. But they've been get they've been switching out the necks because the necks are cheaper. For now. Mm-hmm. For now. For now. Right. For now. Mm-hmm. Now. For now. Yeah. Anything that was you know discarded, you know, right. now is coming back as a delicacy. Mm-hmm. Just like regular. Beef neck bones or pork neck bones. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like beef neck bones myself. You know, so it would be no different than ox neck bone to yeah. me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I I would I would absolutely mango one. Because we I made some greens for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, we we got turkey tails. Oh man. I just saw somebody on social media talk about turkey tails. I had never seen them in the store. Miss Russ yeah, picked them man. up. I threw them jokers in the pressure cooker and boy, boy, boy. the grease off man, man. Let me tell you something. I smoked mine mm. for Thanksgiving. I cut them off the turkey mm. and I threw them on the smoker. Man, mm. that was a group. That was a great, delicious treat for me yeah. out back. Nah, these, you know these were saying? already smoked. These were smoked oh, turkey tails. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we mm-hmm. I got them and I threw them in the pressure cooker and then threw my greens in there with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do that turkey good stuff. anyway. Yeah, normally I, I do next, but I'm like yeah, just to I get the amount of meat that you get mm-hmm. off the tails. Mm-hmm. Man, it's, that made such a difference. I don't know what it is. Well, it's because it's got a high fat content, mm-hmm. so it's got some grease and it's got flavor. Yeah, it's 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 a great seasoning meat to me. Mm-hmm. I, I I agree 100 percent with that one. Yeah, I agree that was 100%. that was a new one on me. But mm-hmm. uh, me and Mrs. Russ was walking through uh, the blue store, right? Oh God, the, the blue, blue big store. box store, blue right. big box. And so wait, there's two blue big box stores. The blue and white big box store. Got it. Okay. All right. I'm with you. So I'm walking past over by, you know, the the deli meats and all. And you know how they have those those big coolers that you can just kind of walk past and walk around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So out the corner of my eye, I see something. <laughs> and Mr. Russell's like, did you see that? And I look again just to make sure I saw it. Mm-hmm. Dog, they were selling whole hogs heads up in those joints, man. Whoa! Yeah, dog. What, which one would you add? Dog, you know I live in the country, but I wow. saw that. Wow! I was shook up. It brought back all types of traumatic memories to me. Bro, that's that's what you normally see in the butcher shop. Right. You right. know, real butcher shop. Mm-hmm. You know, the one yeah, that the whole, when you open up the door. The whole you know? thing wrapped up. In in some in some saran wrap or something down there, I, I'm like I'm not getting any closer. I'm done. I'm right. I, I'm, I'm done. I, I do you know how traumatizing that's going to be to somebody's right. kid? Right. <laughs> oh my god. Because bro, I I lived it. I oh lived my it. god. Mama Russ had a deep freezer. She had yeah. a regular refrigerator. Yeah. yeah. On, on wheels. And yeah. I would roll that that regular refrigerator out the way to get to the good stuff. The deep freeze. Yeah. yeah. So I I did it one day and we had just come from visiting our super country cousins, you know, dirt road type cousins. Yeah, man. And and, and who lived on a farm. So we had them, just come back. That's one, by the them, way. Right. Yeah. That's one. I rolled that freezer out the way, thinking I'm about to get me an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, and I saw that whole hog's head. head up in there looking back at me. I screamed, shut everything, and ran back. <laughs> and I never opened that deep freezer again. Oh, never did. You did just come from visiting mama. 
Yes, yes. I finally yeah. fessed up to her about that one. Yes. I was you so traumatized. Did you go? Did you go check the deep freeze? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man, no, was, it, it, dude! That whole blue story experience just brought back all types of traumatic memories, bro. But that's 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 interesting, mm. right? That's interesting because that means they're really trying to cater to the to the community around them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because you, let's be honest with you, some of these, some of the bigger box stores don't carry ethnic cuts, right? Of meat, right? That was a very polite way of a very yes. polite way of trying to say this. Mm-hmm. They don't carry ethnic cuts of meat, even no. if you go to some upper scale butchers, mm-hmm. they don't have it, right? They they've already discarded it. Mm-hmm. And shipped it off, or wherever they're gonna do with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they they're making the the hog's head cheese with it and stuff like that. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, or south it used to meat. Be the south meat. Yeah. yeah, that used to be my favorite thing till I knew what it was. <laughs> I have not eaten it not since I was a kid. Listen, Once, after that, all I want to know, I've not touched it. All 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 I know is, and all I'm going to keep in my mind is, it's the gelatin. With the skin and some fat that's been cooked and put into this thing. I don't okay. want to know what else goes into it. All right. We'll keep you innocent. Please do. Because <laughs> I've been traumatized in my life a lot. And I don't need no more traumatization. Okay? <laughs> so let, let me ask you this, man. Because I like that stuff. And I eat it with Ritz crackers. Okay, I used I used to till I found out what it was. Don't take it away from me. I was done. Mm-mm. Oh, do, my do you God. eat chitlins? There, I mean, yes. <laughs> but I found out I only eat three people's chitlins because you know you can't eat that from everybody. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And I tried one, never again. Mm. I tried my wife's chitlin. For the first time some years ago, mm-hmm. and I was good to go. Her mother's chitlin tastes just like that. They good to go. They mm. tender, they clean, they taste good. My mama's, yeah. I've been eating all my life. God rest the soul of my grandmothers, but mm-hmm. I would have had two more back then, right? I yeah. think it's a family tree type thing. If one mm-hmm. of them can cook them, it does roll downhill a little bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. You well, know, because that, that lineage stopped with my with my mother. It didn't pass to my sister. She, she, she no. adored it. <laughs> <laughs> she will eat them, but she ain't going to clean them. She's going to clean the house. She Bro, the you, well, well, the red bucket thing is done now, man. Yeah, they got they yeah they they got the the kind that's pre cleaned already. You still got to clean them, clean them right, right, right. You know, but the smell is nothing like it was when we was growing up mm. with that that red and white can swift mm-hmm. chitlins. I remember to this day because <laughs> we used to use that red and white can around the house. Yeah, the little red and white pail. Mm-hmm. You use that for something else, brother. <laughs> You know, you clean that. You clean that 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 bazooki smell out of. Us. <laughs> we used to let that thing sit in the basement boy, with bleach for like two weeks. You know what I mean? God. <laughs> my daddy said, "Don't even pour it down the toilet. Take that outside, and pour it in the drain in the street." Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I but, tell hey, you, my yeah. my grandmother's. Both uh-huh. of my grandmothers and then my mom, and it stopped from there. I wouldn't need anybody else's. And then my mom would get to the point, like, if we had leftover the next morning, yeah. Yeah. she would fry them and serve them over grits. Mind is blown. Yeah. I'm doing that the day after Christmas. It was Cause, so good. Because I'm having me some, some chitterlings. <laughs> On Christmas, because my wife says that's gonna be, I'm gonna make sure I cook it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do that. Do that. How many bags do you need? <laughs> yeah, Miss Russ ain't she ain't hearing it. She ain't even trying. She no. She ain't even gonna try it. So I, I, I've had my last chitterling. And there, there's a restaurant down in Atlanta 
Yeah, I ain't doing it. Yeah, I've heard that good. I've heard it good, but I just, I just, I, 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 I ain't doing it. They don't come from some woman in my family. See, That's it. Mm-mm. Mom, Mama Russ came to visit one year for Christmas. Oh, and yeah. so it was Mama Russ, Sister Russ was here, and then I had some friends over, right? So we were doing like a little friends Christmas dinner. Right? Friends, okay, yeah. Okay. So had some chitlins. That she made mm. up. Mm. Me and my sister grabbed that whole thing and went upstairs and shut the door and, and ate, them. ate them ourselves, just me and her. That's the y'all last need, time I. That y'all need y'all tell what? I y'all didn't say any. mama none. No, she said she had some left at home that she saved for. Her. Oh, what? Well, had them in the freezer, so she was. I went on ahead, killed them too. I would have took yes. the hot sauce right upstairs. With we me. sure did. We sure yeah. did. We not, sat not right ready. there on the floor. Now, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Since you had grits mm-hmm. and chitlins, mm-hmm. which sound absolutely, that sounds astonishing to me, mm-hmm. right? My stomach is growling. And I just ate not long ago. <laughs> but right, but my, my body telling me I need that in my life. Yeah. So I'm going to have that in my life soon. Mm-hmm. However, yeah. Yeah. do you eat your chitlins with rice? No. Have you ever had it with rice? No. The next time you get an opportunity. I won't. My wife don't make them and, Ma, and Mama Russ don't do it no more. Man. Well, it's, I'll eat some for you. It's, it's I'm going to eat some for you on Christmas, my dog. Man. I'm going to tell you because, you know, you can't eat everybody's chillings. Now, I understand if mm-hmm. you say, no, nah, I'm straight. I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm good with yeah. that. Because no, this it's is all. a heavy, this is a heavy price to pay. You know what I mean? If you got, you get some bold chitlins. It's mm-hmm. a heavy price to pay, you know. Yeah. Mm-mm. So I probably won't ever talk to the person again who gave them chitlins to me. Mm-hmm. However, <laughs> however, that's why I've restricted my chitlin eating <laughs> gang. <laughs> so let me ask you this one: Will you do pigs feet? Will I? <laughs> the, the look on his face, man, space nation. Will I? The, like I just straight insulted him. You did, boy. <laughs> you did. I love me some pig knuckles. I've never done it. You if, never if, had if pig I, knuckles. No. If if I had, it was because my grandmother's cooked it, and I didn't know what it was. It was like sit down and eat, and you don't budge till you clean your plate. That's 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 why that's why. I'm, that's why I'm over 300 pounds, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you know, because my grandmother used to do pig ears like that. You know, it would be pig ears and some pinto beans and some cornbread. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, how you, that's how you ate it. That's so, right. that's so if I, I had, was raised. if I had pig feet, it was because they threw it in the pinto beans and I didn't know. Man, it let me tell but you, did they ain't put it in the, the pinto pickle, beans. The, the pickled ones. I don't really like the pickles. Mm. I, I'm not a big fan of pickle anything. I got a home boy pickle yeah. who is Muslim, right? He converted mm. to, to Islam, right? Yeah. You yeah. know, they don't do pork. They don't do the swamp. Right, right, right. That's his one exception. Stop it. There's so yeah. many other things. Yeah. He will make an exception for some pickled pig's feet. Really? Yes. Yes. That's a hell of an exception. Mm-hmm. Hell of them. I ain't doing that one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Pickled is not my thing. No. I have mean, you tried like pickled eggs and stuff like that? Because, you know, they pickle everything. I have. You know, drunk at night in the dive bar. Yeah. Hungry. Because, you know, they didn't cook food in the bars that I used to go to back in the day. <laughs> right? Right. They sold cigarettes alcohol mm-hmm. and you pay for the pool table right and the and the jukebox we didn't even have a dj mm-hmm. you know what i mean this was yeah, a you whole was a, you was this a, was a hole ser- in the wall i'm talking about yeah, some serious dive bars bro i'm talking about it wasn't even a white light outside oh no didn't even have a name for it the Mm-mm. door was painted black Mm-mm. tap on yeah. the door two times some big dude, six, four, six, five, open up the door, <laughs> give him $20. Mm-hmm. 
And you was in there. Right. You know what I mean? And then, hey, what happened behind the closed doors happened behind the closed doors. But it wasn't no frying, no chicken, and mm. shrimp, and french fries, none of that. It was some pickled eggs and some yeah. pickled pig's feet back there. A vending machine with some cigarettes in it. Yeah. The juke joint, the jukebox. Oh, and some darts and some pool table. And a, and a whole lot of sweaty dancing going on. That jukebox never stopped. So my father-in-law used to be a DJ at a, at a little club, right? Uh-huh. Back in the day, uh-huh. a little hole in the wall spot. And he was telling me that he got them, like they were like cooking up some chicken and they would take the, the skin off the thighs and would throw it away. He's like, don't, don't throw that away. No. Fry the skins. Yes, sir. And that's and that became more popular than anything else that they would do with just the fried fried, fried chicken, skin. chicken skin. Hey, but real talk, fried chicken skin ain't. I mean, this good. <laughs> I eat that too. <laughs> I eat, I eat that too. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, I tell you, I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now. I, I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm hungry. I just ate a half pound ha- a hamburger a few, a few maybe a couple hours ago. I had, I'm hungry. I had a moment. Miss Miss Russ actually cooked, and she's like, "You ready to eat?" I'm, I'm like, "Babe, I texted you a while ago. I'm like, I'm recording." Yeah. And then she, she's like, "You ready to eat?" I'm like, "Babe, I'm about to record in like two minutes." Yeah. So, so you know, uh, it, it'd be calling me, bad. It'd just be calling me. <laughs> I, you know the smells from downstairs in the kitchen. They yeah, walked it up. In, you know they go just ahead, be calling me. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, one quick thing though was part two of what I said. I was asking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you watched this or heard of this drama? Why is social media so? It's 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 all drama, bro. Mm-hmm. The T.I. and his son King thing. Are you, are you, I briefly some of that? saw something. I, I'm like, I don't, you know, when I saw it, I'm like, I don't know who who King is. And to my T.I. choked him or something. I'm like, that's uh, his son. That's okay, his son. I, I, I quit. I quit. So I yeah. didn't I didn't hear the whole thing. So so just, so what happened? So basically, his son just, you know, talking about, you know, his, his father ain't who he say he is and this, that, and the other, and, and T.I.'s like, look, boy, you know, you ain't, you, you, you a Silver Spoon kid. Right. You know, basically, you know, he was like, I'm not no Silver Spoon kid, you know what I mean? He was like, have you ever slept and a roach crawled on your face? Mm-hmm. You know, he was like, I could take you down to the bando and all this other BS and stuff like that. But he was pretty damn disrespectful to his mother and his father. Mm-hmm. So it ended up being that his daddy almost choked him out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it choked him out like the yeah. like like old buddy did Tyrese and and, and baby boy. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, right. call call your mama, call, call your, your mama. mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I I I feel like my question was is because T I said a lot of things. You 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 know you ain't ready for this, and you know it's a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of things. I, do do you? condone those type of actions or do you not i think that there is a level Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think that we're at a point in our society that we need more parents who will check their kids yeah yeah. because if you don't check your kids you're going to have more of them out there in jail locked Mm -hmm. up Doing yeah. stuff from stupid or mm-hmm. or or six feet under. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Both 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 of my um, my paternal sons, the ones that, that, that came from you know the, the nether regions, yeah. I will choke, I will take their voice coils out. <laughs> right. I, I'm just saying. I yeah, I think they know that, you know, but yeah. I'm just gonna put that out there for them. But there, there's a level of no. You know, teaching your children respect. Absolutely. And at Absolutely. no point should a child disrespect, disrespect anybody. Yeah, 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 for real. 
a child you know, should I, never I, disrespect anybody. But when they, you know, and really going too far when you disrespect your own parents, because if you if you don't have any respect for your parents, no matter what, if you don't have respect for your parents, then you're not you don't have respect for anybody else. And and as a father, mm-hmm. I can never allow my sons to right. disrespect their mother. Yes. I, I did see a video where some woman was so appalled and astonished because this grandfather, a Caucasian male, slapped mm-hmm. his grandchild. Mm-hmm. And, and oh, she gonna, in, the, in the grocery store. Yes. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And she's so disrespect- appalled. You know yeah. That? I'm like, no, because this child being disrespectful. He's being disrespectful to his grandmother. Yes. That's right. He should have. He, he should have. Yep. He should have slapped him in the floor and woke him up as he was pushing him out the out the grocery right store and in, that. inside that cart. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I I don't I don't play that. You're not gonna disrespect yeah. one. I don't I don't play that period. But yeah. if it's a child in in our family, you either get him because you don't want me to do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm gonna teach. I'll teach you real fast. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm I, I'm not gonna do that. When I talked to my games. I talked to my nephew over the weekend, and mm-hmm. to this day, I mean, he's you know twenty four, and with every adult, yes sir, no sir, it's always yes ma'am, yeah, no ma'am, you know, and that's awesome, you know what I mean, but but it's you know. like that that level of respect was pushed into them at such a young age that it never left them. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And we have and so many people that 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 level of respect has not been pushed into them at all. Yeah, well, uh, you know, society and these these how can I say internet age children? Yeah, I'm gonna say that internet internet age children. You know, and a lot of the, some of that is 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 on us because we allow the video gaming systems to raise them. The upcoming, mm-hmm. the upcoming of the computer raised them, you know, mm-hmm. because we were, we were people that, that worked. It took, you know. And, and now to, you got social, social media raising them because yeah, they, everybody's now, trying to get Social clicks. media is raising their children. Right. They, now. they, they all want clicks. They Absolutely. all want clicks. Mm-hmm. They're all doing, out there trying to do stuff that's just stupid just for clicks. You know, I see people oh, doing these little practical stunts out there, you know, mm-hmm. trying to pull these little jokes. And I mean, it's going to end up in somebody getting killed. You know, Yo, one dude got almost got shot. Yes. Ran up on the wrong cat. And he's mm-hmm. like, what you talking about, man? He pulled his pistol on him. Yeah. You know, and dude, it had to come from across the street. Yo, it's a prank. And he was like, I don't play no pranks around here. Right. You know, he was like, you almost got killed today. Mm hmm. You know, you just don't never know who you running up on. You can't yeah. be doing stuff like that, man. Yeah, that's you true. You can't. I'm going to tell you, you, I'm walking through a park construction. I got my wife with me and I'm strapped and you're going to come out like you looking like you're about to do something with some baseball bats. Mm-hmm. Y'all better pray to God. <laughs> yeah. Did, did y'all get to me before I get that thing out? Well, what you know was the what whole mean? thing with with the folks going around just slapping people? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get killed, man. Yeah. You get killed. Where I'm from, you will get killed for something like that. Yeah, I yeah. remember middle school, and it was the last day of school, and you know a bunch of a bunch of kids, a bunch of black kids were just walking around the last day and just slapping white kids for no reason. Yeah, right. And so at my middle school. Middle school was ninth, went to ninth grade, right? So yeah, the next yeah. year, you're going to a different school, even though technically you're in high school. Mm-hmm. You were at a, you were at a middle school for ninth grade, right? right, right, right. And then you went somewhere else. So they were like, "Well, we're going to a different school next year." So they were just doing it for no reason, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I had a a one of my good friends, was a white guy. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Listen, I need you to walk me to class." So after every mm-hmm. class, I I finished. You know, if we didn't have the same class, I went to his class and got him and walked mm-hmm. him to the next class to make sure nobody messed with him, right? Right. But I mean, it's just, it's that type of stuff, you know, because we we sit there and say, oh man, this stuff wouldn't happen to my, no, it did happen. It, we it just happened. didn't have social media That's to right. blast it around to everybody. That's right. You didn't come home crying about it. 
You know what I'm saying? Either you, when we, when I was coming up, dog, we, we fought. It was what it was. Yeah. You win some, you lose some. You know, my neighborhood, it was a, it was a hierarchy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because all the boys would wrestle or play, pick them up, mess them up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. knew who the strong dudes were. Right. You knew who the fast dudes were. You know who the dudes who you didn't mess with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you knew who the dudes were you needed to protect. Real simple. That was our hierarchy. Mm-hmm. And that traveled from our neighborhoods into the school system. Because we weren't a gang. We are just five or six, ten dudes right. from the same neighborhood that went to the same school. Mm-hmm. that looked out for each other but on the block we knew who was what and who did what mm-hmm. it was simple these days man you, you these these days you got too many internet bullies you got right. you, you got internet bullies you got bullies in school you got I, I i don't understand bullying for one yeah because you bully my brother i'm gonna i'm gonna beat you yeah and then you 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 gonna go get your brother and then I got to fight your brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And if you beat me, then my friend, that's like my big brother, is coming after you. Yeah. You know, and that was, I, I, I hate to be that, that, that guy, but that's how it was when we grew up, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And if you took that butt whooping, you know what? Yeah. You was better for it. But now it's it's all about the clicks. Like I, I watched a video today and, and I'm mm-hmm. mad I even gave him a view on this mess. But the dude was straight instigating. The guy, he goes up to a, a look, he goes up to a store and he just kind of goes sideways into a parking space, right? Mm-hmm. It takes mm-hmm. up three spaces. So the mm-hmm. guy comes running up with his camera. You can't do that. You can't do that. Blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah. You can't do that. You being a jerk. You can't take up three parking spaces, right? There's plenty of parking spaces all around, right? Mm-hmm. But he's like, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. So the guy, you know, had his coffee. He threw his hot coffee on him. Like, get out of my face. Mm-hmm. You know, leave me alone. Right, 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 right. right. But the dude was instigating Right. Mm-hmm. Mind your damn business. It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Right. But but that's that's again, that's this age of society. Everybody can be famous with one click, one click, one, one click. video. You're one video away, as they mm-hmm. say, from being famous. Yeah. You know, and you don't want to be famous for the wrong reason. Yeah, so, that's true. <laughs> So That's true. you, you got to be careful who you run up on. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. Because, you know, it's going to be part of that club, that F around to find out club. <laughs> for real, for real. Yes, sir. F around to find out. As we do each week, we like to close the show with just a little bit of inspiration. You see, there's certain things that you can do to help build your self-confidence. You see, self-confidence is a gradual process that involves both the mindset and behavioral changes. So here's some key points that will help you improve your self-confidence. And the first one is positive self-talk. You have to be the first person to talk positive to yourself, but you have to believe in yourself. See, monitoring and changing negative thoughts about yourself, replacing self-critical thoughts with positive affirming statements, and then acknowledging your achievements and your strengths regularly. Nobody should do that before you do that. Number two is set realistic goals. Break down larger goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. Celebrate the small victories. You know, if you have a goal of saying, I want to lose 50 pounds, start by losing five and then celebrate the the five and then go to the next five. And then before you know it, you'll be at your 50. But don't just try to drop 50 pounds in one day, right? Celebrate the small wins. Number three is learn and develop a skill. See, there 
all areas that we want to be proficient in and improve in, right? So use this is where the internet is great. YouTube is a great way to learn and acquire new skills. So continually try to learn and develop process to help improve yourself. Even attend workshop or taking uh, courses or even seek a mentorship that will help you become an expert in your field. Number four is body language and posture. Maintain good posture and stand tall. See, that can positively affect how you feel about yourself. And number five is accept and learn from failure. See, Man Space Nation, everyone needs to understand that making a mistake and they will be able to experience learn from their those experiences and be able to grow and be able to move forward see if you don't learn from your your failures you're definitely going to repeat them remembering this and space nation remember that building self-confidence is just a constant process and progress it takes time see rome wasn't built in a day but it definitely got built. Amen, Reverend Dr. Doc. I tell you. <sighs> I tell you, that's that's the I live by my mantra is always this. If you don't learn the lesson from what you went through, you will repeat that lesson. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm, 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 mm. Get it yeah. together, folk. Get it together, right. people. Right. Maybe, you know, Diddy will learn and Will will learn. I doubt it. And... I doubt it. I doubt it. Man, this is a, that's a whole, that's a whole rabbit hole. We'll have to talk about that one, one day. That's a whole nother show. That's a whole nother show. <laughs> Man Space Nation, check us out on threads. Check us out on Instagram at Man Space Nat one And guess what, Man Space Nation? We are this much closer to the release of Desire. Desire. <laughs> Don't base it off of my singing, because yeah, that's horrible. Because the, the, you you ain't never lied about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we out of here. <laughs> thank you for listening to this episode of the Man Space. Whichever platform you listen to us on, make sure you subscribe and don't miss a show. Remember to keep up with all the Manspace updates on our website, themanspacepodcast.com. And you can follow us on Instagram at manspacenat1. Until next time, Manspace Nation, he's Les, I am Russ, and we are out of here. Desire. All right, Les, let's finish up the show. Les, 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 wake up, man. Sorry, man. I'm tired. I was up late last night. Here, here, try this. Bro, I'm not a coffee drinker. Trust me, man, you'll like it. Man, this is really good. Smooth, no bitter aftertaste either. What brand is this? It's Kairos Life's latest creation, a Brazilian infrared roasted coffee. I really like this. Where can I get it? It's not sold in stores, but you can go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours today. Well, all right. I'm ordering mine now. Manspace Nation, don't miss out. Go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours right now.